is up welcome to a new patch now you can see i'm in the christmas garage but it doesn't matter what patch uh, you are watching this on all the mods are going to be the same uh, and i'm here to explain to you what mods are available the first mod available on this mod pack is the crew return mod and here's the example uh, i'm sharing the t100 lt crew uh, with my lt432 and t50-2 and I'm going to swap, select the tank and the crew will automatically transfer over. It does take some time. As you can see, the crew from the T100LT transferred to the T52 and also um, to my LT432. Now, in order for this to work, you only need to take the crew out once in the tank uh, either in random battle or in training battle. It saves you the trouble from clicking here and uh, you know returning the crew so this is just a one click and it helps out um, players who have especially if you have a lot of tanks it's uh, really useful the next mod is going to be the uh, remember equipment mod and uh, this mod works for equipment re uh, movable equipment like the binocular telescope camouflage net and the toolbox so uh, equipment that you can move without a uh, penalty uh, you can use uh, this mod so i will be switching uh, you know let's say from the hellcat uh, to the t t52 or the this one t52 that shares the uh, binocular telescope and it will transfer the equipment over automatically with just one click. Uh, now, if you want this uh, mod to work seamlessly, uh, you're going to need to use two binocular telescopes. And uh, this is to avoid, example, let's say I'm playing the T-52 right now in-game and I died and I get into the garage and I switch into my Hellcat. Now, because if I only have one binocular telescope and it is still mounted on the T-52, it won't be mounted on this Hellcat if I took it into a game. So to avoid that, all you need to do is make sure you have two sets of uh, binocular telescopes, two sets of camouflage nets and two sets of um, toolbox. So that's how that will work. Uh, the other uh, next mod is the follow camo mod now this mod means um, you mount your camo one time and if you go into your garage your uh, paint garage what it does is it will demount all the camouflage that you have for this nation so everything in my um, us tech tree nation all the camos will be demounted and whatever camo you mount on this tank it will remember it so this is really good it te technically it means you only need to have one camo for each nation so it's going to save you a lot of gold so you don't need to keep buying camos um, the only caveat here is it does not work on clan wars reward camos like this one clan elite uh, this one over here this one over here because these clan war reward camos are uh, fixed to one tank so if you mount it to the hellcat it will stay only on the hellcat you can't demount it and mount it on another tank so it'll work on all your paid camos and uh, these camos here it'll work uh, these kind of free camos that you get uh, reward camos and uh, other than your clan war reward camos it'll work on those it'll work on your gold camos uh, but it won't work on your clan war reward camos so uh, that's how the uh, remember camos uh, work auto camo demount mod does not work on the frontline mode uh, if you are playing front lines uh, what i would advise you to do is mount only your preset style camos on frontline tanks so if you're if the frontline season is on in, don't use cu ca um, custom style camouflage instead only mount preset styles on your tier 8 tanks so usually what i do is during the frontline seasons i will ready up only the tier 8 tanks that i want to use the next mod 
is the replay manager replay manager is really useful uh, you don't need to go into your windows folders to look at all your replays all your replays will be displayed here in fact you can play them from here if you want or you can just look at the results from here the next mod is your battle hits uh, battle hits is really useful it's very intuitive to use uh, just click around it uh, you can see how it works it's very easy to use it shows you all your APCR shells or premium shells or standard shells, whatever shells you're using, all the angles, all the impossible shots, uh, very useful. So there you go. All right, first things first, if we look at the, uh, the top here, you can still toggle um, how you want your information uh, displayed. And uh, the only problem is if you're using anonymizer, um, this will... Uh, you won't get this information after about one or two games. Uh, it'll turn completely grey and you won't get any of the information if you're using the anon anonymizer. The second thing is the uh, damage panel here on the bottom left. Uh, we are using an advanced uh, damage panel here that is color coding, color coded. So you don't need to use the standard ones. Uh, you can completely remove them from your damage panel uh, from your log notifications here you go um, you can re completely remove these uh, normally you have all these checked right so you can completely remove this uh, I still leave the total damage on that's how I like it and uh, also on top you can see the total damage here this is uh, really useful and uh, on the top right on the enemy you can see spotted enemies have a yellow bulb and uh, if you spot them and they are currently spotted they will turn yellow yellow bulb but once they disappear or go dark uh, they will turn gray and if they're not spotted at all they are uh, there's no bulb at all if they haven't been spotted throughout the game so there you go unspotted and now we spot them again and it turns yellow so I'm going to give you a demonstration on how the uh, how the uh, damage panel works as you do damage as you do damage the damage panel changes color the more damage you do more damage you do the more the the color changes from red to yellow to eventually green and purple if you do a lot of damage so you see now it's yellow because you did a bit of damage And uh, now it's green uh, because you did a uh, substantial amount of damage. If you do more damage, then it turns uh, purple. Target acquired. Enemy is hit. One of our so just enemy. demonstrate this for you here. Alright, now you know how that works. This The next mod is a mod of uh, mark of excellence manager uh, you can have it on or off and uh, you go to the settings menu and go to the preferences to turn it on and off play around with it it's uh, very intuitive and easy to use um, yeah all i can say is you can turn off anything turn off everything if you want um, resize it uh, move it around in the hud uh, you can resize it by alt page up alt page down uh, you can uh, click on it in the hud and move it around and put it anywhere you want in uh, in game the next and last mod is the um uh, the flying cam mod is actually the last uh, mod that I have for you. I've made a separate video for it, so I'm going to leave a link for you to click on it to watch. Uh, it's really easy to use. Uh, there's also a whole bunch of instructions how you can use it there. Okay, so this is how you get the mod in the link below. It takes you to a Google Drive 
uh, file and uh, in that file is the world of tanks uh, folder and uh, you download that link and uh, that's what you do and uh, you need to use a win rer or zip extractor or something that opens uh, zip files uh, these are free programs that you can get uh, you download the you download this uh, world of tanks folder and then you unzip it with your win rer uh, once you've unzipped it and open it inside the world of tanks folders there are two files inside there uh, one is the mods file one is the res mods file and basically all you have to do is just copy it and paste it into your world of tanks folder and uh, that's about it so here you go um, you just copy that and then you paste it off obviously i've already done it so i'm not uh, going to demonstrate that here but uh, that's how you you get you, the mods uh, working and once it's uh, done all you need to do is just uh, restart your client and all the mods uh, will be there and after that you have to go to modsxvm.com uh, it's a russian website change it to english and then you log in to whatever server you are from and uh, here you will be prompted to log in with your uh, World of Tanks uh, account uh, you fill it in there I'm not going to show the my account of course and uh, once you've done that uh, you press continue and uh, from there you go to the uh, settings uh, once you've logged in you go to the settings and basically you just need to activate it and the activation lasts for 14 days or 2 weeks uh, you need to renew it every two weeks and go through this same process now if you follow the same settings as i have here make sure you tick xmqp and all this good stuff it'll help you be able to draw on the mini map it's very useful for clan wars and uh you know team uh team events like that when you're uh trying to click on the mini map and draw arrows on the mini map for the rest of your team to follow so hope you enjoyed this mod and hope you found it useful uh, if you have uh, enjoyed it please remember to give this video a like and let me let me thank you in advance for it see you on the next video bye, -bye.